Um, since you first mentioned the term fake news in 2014, how do you think the meaning has changed? I think the meaning of fake news has changed a lot. Uh, in particular, I think Donald Trump has done a pretty good job of taking it and molding it to actually be something that's used to attack the media. So originally for me it was very straightforward. Fake content created to deceive people were making money from, but today I think the term in some ways is almost meaningless because different people use it in different ways. Uh, but overall, Donald Trump has probably been the most influential user of the term fake news and that's probably not a good thing for journalism. Um, so traditional journalists who now use user-generated content to make um, news stories, how widespread is fake news um, with, with such generated content on social media? Well, uh, people who are trying to create and spread uh, misinformation definitely go to social media to get it out there and to get people to cover it. And they usually are, would love to have a journalist pick it up and, and cover it, which I think is one why, why journalists need to be really careful and do good work for verification. Uh, but there's no question that on social media, that's that's where the stuff is being created and spread. And one of the big problems is not links to articles, it's images and videos that have misinformation because those get some of the most engagement. Um, and in, in verification, so journalists are doing the verification, but how do you think, what practical ways can social media platforms like Facebook actually help fight um, this problem? There's a lot that platforms can do. Fortunately now they're, they're really starting to wake up to that. Uh, Facebook works with fact-checking organizations, so you sort of trusted third parties. The other thing that probably has the most effect with Facebook is they're working in ways to change their algorithm in the news feed so that people are seeing content that isn't fake and that isn't false, and also to make it harder for people to make money from that by getting traffic from Facebook. So there's a lot they've been doing, which is good, but there's still a lot more work to be done. Okay, thank you.